Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a quick little project share featuring a couple more of my um, uh, die sets from Scrap David Designs um, August release. So I wanted to come on and share them with you. I've been a little slow on the making, I apologize for that. Um, here is Scrap Diva's uh, website and there is all of her other social media information. So make sure you follow along, see what everybody's making. There's tons of cute projects. So my first one I'm going to share today is using this die set here, which is called the Cow Mini Album. Okay, so it makes a really cute um, Cow Mini Album. <laughs> um, but it comes with um, these three here are um, pieces that you could make. <laughs> getting all tongue-tied okay what I want to point out is this cow has a cute little um, like party hat on okay but you can also make it um, this one also comes with it without the um, hat on it so I made mine without the hat um, this piece here is the layering piece for the cow's mouth. Goes right down in there, and there's a little nostrils. And then this piece also comes with it, and it's got the hat, Larry pieces for the hat, the trim of the hat. There's the mouth, eyes, Larry pieces for the ears, Larry pieces for the um, horns up here, pom-pom, um, and then there's some of the, um, you know, like spots you could put on the cow, okay? So that, and then, uh, these three pieces here I didn't even use yet, <laughs> but you got your base piece and then your another layering piece was stitched and then another layering piece there. So you got three more pieces up there that I didn't use on this project. Okay, so let me show with you what I made. Put these back in here so I don't lose them. <laughs> I got piles of dies that I'm... And I'm always getting my pieces all mixed up, which is one thing I would like to mention that I really like about um, Scrap Diva's new packaging is I love that she's got these little outlines of all the pieces. So if you can't remember where a piece goes back, you know, it shows you all the pieces. So sometimes you're like, where does this piece go? And so I really like that about her new packaging. So just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, so the, the project I made is... With this cute cow mini album is I, I made a card and she's kind of my glam my glam cow <laughs> so I got her a bunch of little flowers up here I have some of these puppy eyelashes that I layered on here this paper is some more of that paper that I have this is like um flocked like fuzzy um that the, pa the paper came like that so I didn't cut out any of the um you know like dot shapes for the cow um I layered the pieces up on its ears and then this is the uh, mouth the you know like the front of her mouth piece and then there's her mouth and this i have up on foam also and then i <clears throat> decided she needed cowbell earrings i wish i would have had some of the cowbell style <clears throat> um, bells but i didn't so i thought well these will be just as good so i gave her cute little earrings so then i got her long lashes and so and then you open her up and it just says moo beautiful so I use the um, the scrap diva um, uppercase um, letters on here alphabet set and so I just spelled out moo I just want to put in something and then I used a stamp set for my um, for my stash I think it was a Simon says stamp um, uh, sentiment that I used I put my um, letters up on foam also so anyway so there's my cute little card it fits in the envelope just perfectly so there's that and then the next um, set I want to share with you is this set which is the uppercase alphabet and it's also got the numbers set so the um, lowercase there's also a lowercase that came out um, and it doesn't have numbers but it does have um, what do you call it like um, some of the punctuation 
type things. Let me get pull this out. I used this one on something else already. So it does have like, um, you know, like a, the money sign, the and sign. It has brackets. And I can't remember if there's any others. So anyway, you get some of those symbols with the lowercase set. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> I'm working on some Halloween stuff also, so I decided um, to use my numbers and make some cute little um, rosettes. So I think they turned out really cute. Let's zoom in a little bit. Look how cute these are. So pretty. So I made a rosette. Uh, this is a die I had in my stash. And then I used some of this whatever this is called, this ribbon stuff. So I have a layer of that back there in the back. And then I have um, a tiny or a real thin um, uh, spider web. And this spider web comes in this set from Scrap Depot also, which is the pumpkin mini album. So yeah, pumpkin mini album. So that's part of this set that makes has a big pumpkin and the jack lantern face and stuff. So the spider web did come with that set. So I use that for another layer and then um, I cut out some little squares from the, um, uh, what is it, Luna? No, 31, 31 collection um, from Frank Garcia. And then I used my number set, not number set, well, yeah, it's number and, <laughs> and alpha. So I used that and I cut out some numbers. And so I layered them up on foam and then I coated them with a tiny bit of um, Wink of Stella, just the clear, so it has a little bit of sparkle. And then I used some of these little puffy stickers from Hobby Lobby, those. So I think they turned out super cute. Anyway, that's my small project share for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the website will be linked. Um, my discount code will be listed below. Feel free to use it if you decide to pick anything up. And then I'll have links to the dies also. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.